My name is Patty Hernandez Fonseca. This is a brief presentation about the Netflix documentary Struggle, the Life and Lost Art of Sukalski. I hope you enjoy it. The history behind the making of the Netflix documentary Struggle, which tells the story of a talent but unknown Polish artist named Stanislav Sukalski is almost as strange as the plot of the film itself. It was produced by Leonardo DiCaprio and his father George DiCaprio, who was friends with Sukalski and a group of artists that included Art Grom, Robert Williams, and comic book collector Glenn Bray. It was Bray who was first fascinated by Sukalski work when in 1971 he came across one of the artist's books. He was impressed by the images and amazed to learn that the artist was not only alive but lived only a few miles away in Burbank, California. Bray befriended the artist and began recording the artist's ramblings about his life and strange personal mythologies which included Sarmatism. Sarmatism is the belief that people are under the control of a hybrid race of Yeti and humans. Stanislaw Sukalski was born in Poland in 1893. He moved between Chicago and his native Poland as a young racing artist. In 1910, he would go to Poland to start his artistic studies that he abandoned after having a confrontation with a teacher there before. After that, he returned to Chicago and participated in the set design of the famous movie King Kong. By 1934, Poland has declared Sukalski as the country's greatest living artist. The Sukalski National Museum in Warsaw hosts most of his intricate paintings and massive sculptures notable for their dramatic mythological images. He even was compared and who now has the Michelangelo of the 20th century. With Sukalski's work has proof we can say that he is a genius and someone unique. His work reminds us of surrealism, but also of futurism and art deco, even though his art has more of a neo-pagan character. When the Second World War broke out, he had to abandon his work in Barça, most of which were destroyed during the war, looted or lost. Upon arriving back in the United States, he was no longer able to rebuild in his relation. In addition to his, his character was eccentric and broad. He did not hesitate to describe abstract art as excrement hanging from the walls. Because of his eccentric ideas, which were very far away from traditional North American cultural, standards, he was not in a position to relaunch his career. In the decade of 1940, he began studies in Chicago that led him to value American Indian cultures and started integrating them into his art. He didn't have much time to dedicate making new art and sculptures because of a formal and banal office job where he made a model mock-up of sculpture. Despite this, because he was a restless man in constant search for new knowledge, he began to study history and develop that before mentioned theory of Sarmatism, a theory of the origin and evolution of humanity. It was based on the postulate that human culture derived from Easter Island after the Great Flood and the occurrence that in all languages there are traces 
that allow the reconstruction of the mother tongue of humanity. The sons of the Jetis had repeat beautiful woman, generating of the race. We call define Sukowski as a Polish Dali, someone who when the doors of art were closed, installed a surprising and pseudo-scientific vision of history. By the end of the artist's life, Bray had become a close friend and at that moment perhaps the only one. Bray collaborated and published several books with Tsukalski in addition to the recordings and at the same time he was sure that his life and work were a story that needed to be shared with a wider audience. Brake was also in charge of Tsukalski heritage and archives when the artist died in 1987. He currently worked with a Hollywood foundry that produced edition of the artist's work in bronze, as only plaster remained in Los Angeles. To me, Tsukalski is kind of a mystic, a modern master. He was creating art that was inspired by another dimension. I thought he was dead. And he lives like five miles away from me. Is this bill collector? <laughs> Come in, I have something very important to tell you. You can just tell this guy was pent up to tell his story. I was born in Poland. This was very long ago. This is like reaching back through time. This is one of my sculptures. They were just absolutely fantastic. What's going on in this guy's head it must be fast. I had to have some booze. He was almost like a punk or something. Our critics are parasites. He threw the guy down a flight of stairs. I'm not sure he thought people were lesser. This is very really strong arm. But I know he thought he was the greatest. Genius. I'm the greatest in human history. I thought he was amazing. Why is this guy left behind? I have died in Los Angeles, the cultural Siberia of America. I am alone. I am a patriot. <laughs> I can't. The tragedies that took place in Europe just pulsed through the entire body of work. Hundreds of projects. All these were destroyed. Losing his life's work. I don't know how he didn't have a mental breakdown. We had no way of knowing what these things connected to in his past. We were all blindsided.